So here we are today, down at Salford Roasters, which is, what's the official term for Salford Roasters? Uh, we're an independent local roaster. So we roast all our own beans and we've obviously got the uh, coffee shop up front. And you're proud to be here in Salford, aren't you? It's your city and it's where you're at. Absolutely. Born, born in Hope Hospital, just down the road. Um, and yeah, absolutely. Love, love roasting for the local coffee shops and hotels. Oh, that's fantastic. We've brought Steve down, new to Salford City Football Club. Going to learn a little bit about the city, the people, and uh, what it means to play for Salford and that kind of thing. You've got your coffee in hand already, haven't you? How is it? Yeah, it's good. Very good. It's good. Are you just yeah. saying that because it's it? I like my coffee, but this is good, definitely. Oh, nice one. Uh, are you alright to give us a bit of a show round of what goes on here at Salford Roasters? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I'll take you where the magic happens, so to speak. So, as you can see, we're, I mean, we're only quite small, we're about 1,100 square foot, uh, split into two. Um, and this is where we roast all the coffees. We've got four speciality blends of which the Salfordians won. Uh, and all we've done there is just try to get something um, quite Salfordian, so to speak. So, just really kind of to the point, <laughs> nice and easy to drink. Uh, there's a lot of sweetness going on, uh, there's a bit of vanilla going on. So, what we've done there is we've blended a couple of our origins, Mexican and Brazilian. Um, and that is, as you can imagine, a very popular blend, both online and, and locally as well. I wish we'd started with some blending because it, that's where the fun happens. You, you, you're looking at about 100 different combinations of beans often, uh, and what you're trying to do is find the kind of best two or three together. Can you tell the difference? I can never tell the difference if it's like... We'll have to get you down and do some tasting. Do you know which ones you've got there? Nah, I'm not a clue. <laughs> what is this? So uh, I think I've done you the, the El Molinito, so El Salvador. So okay. it should be quite caramelly, oh, quite fun. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying it was that one, weren't you? Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. Um, I think Stevie can expect, yeah, great, great atmosphere, great following, uh, really good club. F Salford is, is football music. I mean, it's football music, poetry. And I think, you know, it's, it's, it's at the heart of everything we do. I yeah, think you're going to yeah. absolutely love it. Yeah. So in terms of your move to Salford, um, your last club was in Turkey, yep. in the Turkish Super League. Yep. How, does, how does that compare as a, a kind of change of culture <laughs> to go from the Turkish Super Mass. League to, to living in, in Salford? Uh, it's massive, to be fair, just because, um, just your everyday life. Like, foot, no matter where you go, football is the same. As in, like, teams, it's just, it's like a local, it's like, a, what they say is like, it's a international language football. No matter where you go, it's always going to be the same. But it's the, the parts after football, which is quite difficult. Like. You want to go somewhere, it's a nice city, it's a nice area, nice lads. Um, whereas over there, it was a language barrier. So like like you said, here you can just kind of go out in the street, go for a little coffee and things like that with the boys. It wasn't really like that over there. It was, uh, boys were a bit more secluded, like with their families. Apart from then, obviously, you know, the, the cultural move and that, all that kind of stuff. How are you finding getting involved with the club now? It's been good. I'm just over two and a half weeks here now and um, getting to know the boys, getting to get my fitness back up to, to scratch because I was out for a little while with a, an operation. So. Um, it's just about me getting back up to myself the fitness. Got a few games under my belt now and um, now the kind of the manager's putting these across his ideas for me to where he wants me to play and things like that. So I'm looking forward to that now. I'm starting to get kind of like the little butterflies you get before the season starts, which is pretty good. Um, I'm just I just wanting the season to start because it's a long season, it's a difficult season and I just want to obviously try and get Salford promoted, which is the main aim, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. In terms of that, you know, you're saying about the, the manager trying to get his ideas across, what kind of conversations have you had in terms of what he expects from you and what you think you can deliver? We had a little chat on the phone, obviously, before I was signing, um, kind of put across where they would like to see me play, things like that. I've came here to try and help the team as much as possible, assess goals and things like that, and I just want to, obviously, first and foremost, get, get on the team sheet, um, being a start in 11, that's, that's the first goal before I start talking about goals and assists. So try and get in the team for the start of the season and then take it from there and just hopefully get as many wins on the board as possible. One thing that we always hear when your name's mentioned is uh, free kicks and set pieces. <laughs> so we, uh, what, what can we expect? Are we gonna have, <laughs> we're going to have, gonna have a lot of top bin specials, yeah. yeah no, I've, I've, to be fair, I've been practising for a little while just now. It's something that I've practised growing up as a kid. Um, one thing my dad had, had me doing was bringing something out new to my game which was set pieces and free kicks and things like that. So it's something that I enjoyed working on and thankfully Touchwood throughout my career so far it's helped. So hopefully I can continue that it's at opposite Salford. Because your family aren't you all involved in football for generations and generations. Yeah. How's that helped you? Massively. I, I, there, was, there was no way that I wasn't going to be a football player, at least at any level. Um, my great granddad was Celtic. My dad, dad played football, my dad played football and then thankfully I played football. So with them all being football players, it's helped me massively. Definitely couldn't be where I am today without their help 
um, cause you, they kind of pass down their knowledge and that as well. Same with anybody, just, you kind of learn from above. So they've helped me massively and it's kind of helped me out today. I think we're all really excited about yep. what the next season has to offer and we're really excited to have you on board as yep. part of that. As your, your passion in the centre of the park, doubting about and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff, it was brilliant. So we're really yeah. looking forward, we're really proud to have you here you. and wish you all the best for the Thank season, you. mate. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.